see how they're made, stick around. Now, I realize that there are hundreds of videos out there and tons of articles online about doing this um, type of acrylic pour. And of all the ones I read, I had yet to find one that was just basically straightforward, simple, and to the point of really how to do it. So I guess it's up to me. But anyway, I did the glue and the um, thinner, which is the Floetrol or the Liquid X, this stuff, the pouring medium. And then each individual color. And then from there, you will individually mix each one with a different stick. You don't want to blend the colors or anything. And then this you can use any silicone, really. I mean, WD-40 makes a silicone. I'm sure there's other lubricant companies out there. Um, the one main one I saw online was just this treadmill lubricant. You can get it at Dick's Sporting Goods or whatever. But it's 100% silicone. And uh, what it does is it basically repels the water. And that's how you get those kind of cells, the spots and stuff like that inside um, the artwork. And um, so... If you want a lot of cells, then you you would put more in each one, or you can just put a few squirts in, you know, a couple of them or whatever. It's you know, to each his own. But um, so anyway, once you get all those all your colors picked out that you want to do, um, you'll want to prime your canvas with just regular white acrylic, and the canvases that we used were fourteen by eleven, and then from there. You want to take each individual cup and just start layering your colors one after another. You can do the whole cup. You can do a little back and forth, mix them up. And then from there, that's when you just lay it out on the canvas and start uh, moving it around.
Um, you can probably notice that I went ahead and touched this one up here at the end for Avery. Uh, she left here kind of bummed that it didn't really turn out the way that she was hoping. And so, you know, with it being our first time, we didn't really know what to expect, but that's okay. Um, you know, there's always other times. So, um, but yeah, all in all, I, I, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It was a fun little activity, you know, for the whole family. And um, it was very simple and cheap and easy. And, you know, I think it's something that uh, everybody can enjoy doing. And so, with that being said, thanks for sticking around, checking it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. So, my cup looks perfection. Looks, looks perfection. perfection.